Welcome back to GRC Study Hall. Last week, we covered the basics of the NIST cybersecurity framework, focusing on its five core functions. If you haven't completed homework number one, go check it out. This week, we're zooming in on one of the most important steps in GRC, risk assessment. Before you can protect anything, you need to know what you're up against. That's where risk assessment comes in. Before we talk about security controls and protections, we need to take a step back and ask, what are we protecting against? This is where risk assessment comes in. A risk assessment helps organizations answer three key questions. What threats exist? Examples, malware, insider threats, phishing attacks. What vulnerabilities do we have? Examples, outdated software, weak passwords. What's the potential impact? Examples, data breaches, financial loss, reputational damage. How does it fit into NIST CSF? Risk assessment falls under the identify function of NIST CSF. You can't protect something if you don't first understand what risks exist. This is why cybersecurity teams must consistently assess risks and adjust their strategies accordingly. To conduct a simple risk assessment, we use a risk matrix to evaluate two main factors. One likelihood, how likely is the risk to occur? To impact, if the risk happens, how bad would it be? For example, a hospital with unpatched software is vulnerable to cyber attacks. If hackers exploit this, the impact could be critical, leaking patient data. Because cyber criminals often target healthcare, the likelihood is high. That means this is a high risk scenario requiring immediate action. Now that we understand risk assessment, let's apply it. A hospital network has outdated software and no multi-factor authentication, MFA, on email accounts. Cyber criminals target hospitals frequently, so this is a potential cybersecurity risk. In this case, the hazards are cyber threats that could exploit the hospital's vulnerabilities. A hacker could take advantage of outdated software or weak authentication controls to access patient data. If a cyber attack happens, who is at risk? Patients' electronic health records, EHRs, could be exposed, leading to HIPAA violations and financial penalties. The hospital's billing systems could also be compromised, leading to fraudulent transactions. Let's use a risk matrix to evaluate the likelihood and impact. Since this is a high-risk scenario, immediate action is required. The hospital should document this risk and take action. Some mitigation steps could include updating software to close security gaps, enabling multi-factor authentication, MFA, on all email accounts, implementing endpoint security solutions to prevent malware attacks. Once these fixes are in place, the hospital should reevaluate its risks every few months. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of a security analyst working for a hospital. Imagine you just got an alert on your system dashboard. Critical security issue, unpatched software detected on billing system. You immediately check the hospital's security report and notice that multi-factor authentication, MFA, hasn't been enabled for email access. This means attackers could easily steal login credentials and gain access to sensitive patient records. Pause for a second and think, if you were responsible for this hospital's security, what would your next step be? What questions would you ask? First, let's identify our risks. The two main issues here are, one, unpatched software. This means there could be vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. Two, no MFA on email. If a hacker steals login credentials, they can access the hospital systems undetected. If exploited, these could result in a ransomware attack, patient data leaks, and financial fraud. Now, let's analyze this risk using the risk matrix. Since patient records are sensitive, the impact is critical. And because hackers frequently target healthcare systems, the likelihood is also high. This makes it a critical risk that needs immediate action. Now that we've identified a critical risk, we need to act fast. What steps should we take? Here's what we'll do immediately. Enable multi-factor authentication, MFA, on all staff accounts. Patch the outdated software and update the hospital security configurations. Restrict email access until security policies are updated. If this were your responsibility, what would you prioritize first? Comment your thoughts below. 
Now it's your turn. Imagine you're working for this hospital's security team. Based on what we just walked through, complete the following. One, identify the biggest risks you see in the hospital scenario. Two, use the risk matrix to determine the impact and likelihood. Three, recommend three actions to fix the problem. That's it for this week's GRC study hall. You've just completed a risk assessment. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, and join us next week.